Hey, this is Lito from Crypto Testers, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Hop. Hop is a new protocol that allows users to send tokens across different networks. So users can, for example, send USDC or ETH from Ethereum mainnet to Polygon, XDAI, and Hop also supports rollups, so Arbitrum and Optimism, if these are familiar names to you. And essentially, the advantage with Hop is that you are not subject to the normal deposit and withdrawal times uh, that you would be subject to if you would use the so-called native bridges of all these networks. For example, in the case of a optimistic rollup like Optimism or Arbitrum, you have, as a user, you, you face up to you know six or seven days withdrawal times. And Hop has built this super sophisticated protocol that abstracts this all away and makes it super easy. Yeah, it's like a payment system that allows you to send to any of these other networks. And in this video, we're going to explore how to send assets, you know, the most basic action as a user. Most users will just use Hub for this particular thing. So how to send assets from, for example, Ethereum to Polygon. We're also going to see how to provide liquidity in the system because this protocol basically works in a way that liquidity providers can provide liquidity on the bridge. And so this is what facilitates these fast transfers, basically. As a liquidity provider, it's, it's a bit like providing liquidity on Uniswap or on Curve. You earn swap fees, so that's its incentive. And then lastly, we're also going to look at how this protocol creates little arbitrage opportunities that uh, you can take advantage of. And yeah, this is you know much more advanced, but let's start with the most basic action which is sending assets. Here we have the Hop UI, and I'm going to select the Polygon network as the uh, destination chain where I want to send assets to. And I'm going to put you know, 100 USDC. And you see that I get a rate of you know 99.9 .9 USDC, which is good. So you can see that this whole system is a bit like Uniswap, where you put some input amount in and then you get some output and that rate is basically determined by the level of liquidity that is present. So the more liquidity there is, the more you can send without facing high slippage, meaning without incurring high yeah, send, transfer costs. So in this case, it's, it works totally fine. I'm recording this video, you know, before Hop is live. So there's just like some test amount of, of liquidity in the pools. But basically here, I already did an approval. As a user, you will face an approval transaction, you, meaning you will have to allow Hop to you know, transfer USDC on your behalf, which is like a common process when you have used dApps before, decentralized applications. But in this case, I've done it. So here, I literally just have to do the send transfer and I'm going to put enough gas to get it through rather quickly and then you have this status pop-up which shows up and here you will be able to see whether the transaction has been confirmed on uh, l1 which it just has and you know as soon as you'll see this check mark here on, on polygon your assets will be on the other end so it's really super super seamless so now that we have shown how to send assets using hub Let's explore how to provide liquidity. So as a liquidity provider, as we mentioned before, you're doing a service for the Hop protocol and you're earning liquidity provider fees. Yet the way basically Hop works is that it has this internal accounting token called H token. So for every asset that Hop has listed, such as USDC, there's a corresponding H USDC on Polygon and H USDC on XDAI and H USDC, let's say, on Arbitrum. And this internal accounting token can be sent instantly to 
any other network. It's a bit similar to how PayPal, for example, a PayPal US dollar can be sent instantly to any PayPal account anywhere in the world, basically because it's a you know PayPal dollar that is in the PayPal database. And obviously this is decentralized and non-custodial, but it's just it's similar in that these H tokens can be transferred across all the networks that Hop supports. And they are backed one to one by, you know, mainnet USDC in a, in a deposit contract and can be redeemed anytime against USDC. And so this HUSDC needs to be paired because a user basically wants to get what we call canonical USDC on, let's say, XDAI. The, the user doesn't want to get HUSDC because you can't do anything with HUSDC if you want to use, you know, Uniswap or on, on, on Optimism, for example, you want the real USDC, the, the original, the canonical version. That's why this H token needs to be paired against canonical USDC in order to facilitate instant swaps. So um, with that being said, let's see how to provide liquidity. Basically, we need to get HUSDC on Polygon and we need to get USDC on Polygon. So um, in my case, I want to create HUSDC tokens. And the way this works is that you use in the convert tab, you're basically saying, I want to send USDC via the hop bridge and then we receive HUSDC on the other end. So, you know, let's say 15 USDC and I'm going to get 15 HUSDC. All right. So my HUSDC have arrived. You see that I have a balance of 15. They're not here in the UI. They're not denominated as HUSDC, but that's what they are. So I have 15 of them. And obviously, as a liquidity provider, I also need the canonical USDC. So in this case, you know, Polygon USDC. I already have them because I have already funds on Polygon in the form of USDC. But if you don't, then you would use here the this option via canonical bridge. And you'd say, hey, I want to send 15 mainnet USDC and transform them into 15 Polygon USDC. You don't have to use the Hop UI for that. You could also use the official Matic bridge. This is literally, it's integrated into the Matic bridge. So once you have those two flavors of USDC, again, HUSDC and Polygon USDC, you simply head to the pool tab and yeah, make sure you select the right asset and network configuration. And then you click on the max button here. You know, I have only 15 HUSDC. So I yeah simply click max here and then the UI tells me how much of Polygon USDC I have to add. And here you can see that there's not much liquidity in the pool because the, the ratio is a bit skewed, but essentially this will depending on the amount that you you know provide but this the there should be a the, the spread should be more narrow if you're happy with what you see you just click on add liquidity you have to give another approval here here i have to give another approval because not only do i allow hope to spend my Polygon USDC, but also my HUSDC. So I'm going to do the same thing one more time. And once these two approvals are confirmed on the blockchain, I can add liquidity, confirm, and wait until the transaction is settled. And now that your funds are in the pool, you can track your uh, liquidity provider position here under to the pool section and the network that you provided liquidity on and, and the asset. And then you see your positions and your pool share, etc. Um, this could look a bit different. 
once the website is completely live, but essentially this is what it looks like right now. Congrats, you are now a liquidity provider on uh, Hop. You're providing liquidity on USDC and HUSDC on the Polygon network, and you can replicate that for any other network that Hop supports if you wish to. And you earn swap fees and obviously um, it could also be interesting for other reasons. Lastly, let's look at how you can profit from little arbitrage opportunities that are created by the system. Imagine, for example, a lot of users send uh, USDC from mainnet to Polygon. And as we discussed before, what happens under the hood is that this HUSDC is uh, sold against canonical USDC on Polygon. And if this happens in big amounts, at some point the exchange rate will be skewed, meaning HUSDC will trade at a discount. What you can do in this case to profit from, from this situation is that you send USDC to Polygon, if you maybe you already have USDC on Polygon, but if you don't, you can send USDC to Polygon. You choose the canonical bridge or again, the, the Matic bridge, doesn't matter, you just need USDC. Then once you have them, you can exchange your uh, USDC against HUSDC. And because it trades at discount, you know, let's say your 100 USDC, will be worth 150 HUSDC. That's an extreme example, but this, in some form this could happen. And so you would proceed with that swap. And then once you have those 150 HUSDC, you would withdraw those 150 HUSDC that you received for you know, mainnet USDC. And so there are obviously there's the reverse case where HUSDC doesn't trade at a discount, but at a premium. In this case, you want to mint HUSDC and sell it for canonical USDC and then withdraw that. But long story short, you can monitor what goes on in the, in the hub system and help the protocol rebalance the pools and make a nice profit out of it. So um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. I will try to provide a lot of, you know, useful links and little summary of the steps in the description of this video. And if you have any questions, reach out to me on Crypto Testers, you know, Telegram channel or, or Twitter and or, or to the Hop team directly in the Discord. Hope you enjoyed this episode and tutorial. Mm -hmm.